You know how Pocahontas tells us to paint with all the colors of the wind? I like to think Chef Mark Salter cooks with those colors, or at least he did the last time he visited us in the Delmarval Life kitchen. Now this was November, he made French bean salad. Yum. And today we are welcoming Chef Mark back to the show, of course, virtually, and he is at the kitchen, the demonstration kitchen at the Robert Morris Inn. Yeah, we're going to show everybody how to roast a whole chicken. I, I love to do this on Monday evenings at my home for my family, and of course, chicken is really inexpensive, so it, it's great. You know, a whole chicken like this only costs about five or six dollars, and the way I prepare it, you're just going to love it, and we're going to sh show them how to serve it with a fantastic local asparagus all right what's step one step one is taking the chicken and i'm just going to put it on the board here and i'm just going to take off the the wings right here and the same the other side okay. and then what we do is we take our chicken and we just crush, push it together a little bit like that and we take some whole garlic cloves and we stuff them inside the cavity we take a couple of sprigs of rosemary Mm -hmm. We put that in there as well, and then we take a little bit of salt and pepper over the bird, over the legs, and then, of course, a little bit of olive oil. We put the olive oil on first because we're going to put a little bit of rosemary and just rub that over the uh, breast and the legs, mm -hmm. over that. and then we've got some lovely freshly chopped rosemary, and we're going to sprinkle that over the top here like that. Now, I got a question for you, Mark. What would you say to the person who's very intimidated by a whole chicken like i would be a little a little nervous about it you know um what i'd say is it's very easy i mean you just look at this the way i'm preparing it whole chickens are very easy to do and i'm going to show you how to do this and cook it and you won't believe how easy it is cool and of course, it's very very tasty so what i'm going to do there now is i've taken a look this is a little trick if you haven't got any string i take a little bit of cling wrap so i pull this cling wrap off the the roll there and i've stretched it and I'm just going to tie it round one leg like this, like that. Uh -huh. And then I take the other leg and I wrap it around as well, like that. And then I tie the two together. Let's just bring that round here like that. And now, see what happens when we do this is the, the legs come together like that. The breast pushes up a little bit and we can, when we come to sear it in the pan, uh -huh. It is a lot easier to cook. So I just push it like that. There we go. And I've got my pan over here on the stove. It's yeah. nice and hot. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. And then what we do is we take a whole chicken and we put it down in the pan like this. Like that. Okay. All right. Okay. And we might need a little bit more olive oil there. Okay. Again, it's lovely color here. You can see there's lovely little color here on the, on the breast and on the thigh here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to flip her over like that. I bet it smells good in there. And then we put the whole bird in the oven. It's good. Okay? Let's see. All now, right. This goes in for about one hour. And the, the way to test whether the bird is actually cooked is to stick a um, a knife in its in the thigh between the thigh and the leg, and if it, it runs clear, clear juices come out. The bird is cooked. But if a little blood comes out, give it an extra five minutes. But uh, generally, it's about an hour that a, a a whole chicken will take, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you'll end up with a super moist chicken and really really delicious. Perfect. All right, so we still got more to do, but we're going to take a quick break and then we'll come back and finish the whole dish up. Stay with us. Delmarva Life will be right back. We're back here in the Delmarva Life kitchen, and before the break, Chef Mark Salter showed us how to prepare a whole chicken stuffed. He started roasting it. It's already looking pretty good. And uh, now he's going to show us, before he finishes the chicken, got to have a side dish, right? So, uh, Mark, what you got going on there? A little asparagus? Yeah, absolutely, Katie. We've got some beautiful local asparagus right here. I picked that up this morning, and uh, it doesn't get much better than this. It's right in season. It's the height of the season of fresh asparagus right now. So if you get a chance to get some, it's really nice and tender. So what we're going to do is we're going to olive oil roast it. We've got our chicken here that we pulled out of the oven, and it's it's cooling down before I can just break it apart and we can portion it up. But let's get on with the asparagus. You can see how much I've got from just one bunch here. And then what you need to do, this is the woody end of the the asparagus. So we kind of level it, level it up 
and then we can cut it. Now, there are other ways of deci deciding whether uh, asparagus is, um, you know, which parts break from. Some people just pick it like this and they'll just break it. And where it breaks, it's where it's nice and tender and the rest of it we just discard. Mm -hmm. So I've washed this asparagus because sometimes it's a little bit sandy. Uh, and what we've got over here is we've got a lovely pan here and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to season this asparagus with a little salt and pepper. Have to. Have to, have to. There we go. And we're going to put the asparagus in the in the pan here. Uh, we didn't. I haven't done any starch this time. I thought we'd stay really healthy. Everything's cooked in olive oil, and um, so this is going to be a really nice and healthy meal. Yeah. And this asparagus, this uh, asparagus will go perfectly with this lovely chicken here. So what we have here is we have the chicken, and there's a little bit of cling wrap that I use to tie the legs. And what I'm going to do is pull the chicken off here. Take open the. Thigh, like that. Look up in the other thigh. Cut that down. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you could always roast the chicken. I mean, sorry, carve the chicken from from when it comes out of the oven. Obviously, let it rest a little while. But I find this is a good way to portion the chicken. And we just cut down here, cut down the breast, and we open it up a little bit. It's still a little warm. I could have let it left it for a little longer to cool down. Just go through there. And you make the cutting look so easy. <laughs> yeah, you need. A, I mean, obviously, you need a nice sharp knife to do this. Yeah. You're obviously watch your fingers, but just pull it away gently. And and of course, I've got gloves on as well. It really, a chicken is for four people. So we want to cut it there, cut it there, uh -huh. and then we cut the breast in half there. And the way we portion up is we've got four pieces of breast, we've got a thigh. We've got a drumstick, fry, huh. and a drumstick. And there's four portions of chicken for you. Look at that. Just like a plate here. So what we'll do is we'll put our lovely chicken. Let's do which picture we do. Let's do this one here. So we put it here in the center of the plate. And then we've got this lovely, lovely, lovely grilled asparagus, or roasted asparagus. And you just take some of that, put that on the chicken. Oh. Like that. Look at that. And then over here, we've got some delicious sauce. And we're just going to put a little bit of this lovely sauce. And I'll, and I'll just explain how you make the sauce. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a little bit of the sauce, drizzle it over the top. And the sauce, basically, you take the, the, the roasted bones here. And we put it in the same pan that the chicken came out of. And we cook it a little bit on the stove for about five minutes. And then we have a little bit of red wine, a little bit of water, some fresh rosemary, and a stock cube, a chicken stock cube, a bouillon cube, or if you have fresh chicken stock, even better. Mm -hmm. And then we tighten it with a little bit of cornstarch and water, and then we strain it. And you end up with a beautiful sauce like this. So this is just a very nice light lunch or dinner. That looks amazing. And before we let you go, Tell me, um, are you excited about uh, Robert Morrison having outside dining? Absolutely. We're going to be open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for lunch now. And we're open, obviously, Wednesday through Sunday for dinner. And uh, we've been doing curbside to go, uh, and uh, it's been very successful. But we're looking forward to having people sitting outside. Chef Mark Salter, thank you so much for joining us today and showing us your stuff. Thank you very much, Katie. Thanks for having me.